Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.16 from the chapter number 4. The problem is define the carry propagate and carry generate as. That means first of all, we have to assume that the carry propagate is this much and the carry generate is this one. Okay, respectively. Then so that the output carry, okay, and output sum of a full adder becomes CI plus 1, okay, equal to, that is the next CI, next carry, next test carry will be this one, and the sum output is this one. So, we have to prove this. In the second part, we, have, we are given with a logic circuit implemented with IC type 74283, okay, as shown in this figure, P. P 4.16 this is figure p 4.16 and we have to identify here p i dash and g i dash terminals and so that the circuit implements a full adder that means we have to get here a expression that is the that is similar to a full adder so let us solve this problem one by one in the first part let us see the carry propagate and carry generate circuit of a full adder this is from the inside of the chapter 4.12 okay so this is the circuit of a full adder using propagate and carry generate as shown this is the pro carry propagate and carry generate first of all let us understand so this is nothing but a half header circuit because we do not have a carry here okay i am dotted in that inside the dotted box this is a half header circuit here we can see that it is nothing but the addition of these two and gi is nothing but the carry output i am explaining it here because this is required this is very much required for proving the first part of the problem this is xor operation we have to write ai xor bi but if we consider a half header this is nothing but a plus b okay ai plus bi so we can write it as ai plus bi okay similarly this carry generate carry generate is the n operation so we can write it as a i into b i okay because we have n gain okay now let us see the right hand side of the problem that means the next test carry and the sum output so the next test we have to express in terms of present carry out carry in okay present test carry and the carry propagate and carry generator we have to prove these two expressions okay so let us consider the right hand side of both this both these two equations we have to prove that c i equal to c i plus one equal to c i dash g i dash okay plus p i dash okay and whole complement so this is the next test carry so we have to prove this one now let us consider the right hand side right hand side of this expression so c i dash g i dash plus p i complement okay whole complement so how we can write it so this is nothing but a plus b whole bar so we can write it as no, a bar dot b bar okay so we'll write c i dash g i dash okay whole into whole complement because a bar dot b bar so p i complement one and again we have to take complement so it will be p i so this is nothing but a b whole bar so we can write it as a bar plus b bar okay so we can write it as c c i bar bar plus g i bar bar okay c i plus g i all into p i okay so we'll get c i p i plus p i g i c i p i plus p i g i so now from the circuit we can see that this p i is nothing but a i plus b i okay so c i whole into a i plus b i c i a i plus b i plus so p i is a i plus b i whole into g i is a i b i okay now if we expand this what we'll get this is suppose let us keep it as it is c i into p i okay, this is nothing but p i this one okay plus if we multiply this with both this term so we'll get it will be a i a i b i plus again a i b i so we'll get this term so this is nothing but so c i p i plus this is nothing but g i 
okay a i b i is z i okay so you can write it as z i now we have got this expression from the right hand side so here we can see that it is c i one will be here c i okay and from this line we'll get p i so c i p i will get here okay c i p i plus this one is z i okay this is the next step carry output okay so from this comparing with this expression we can write it as it is c i plus one okay that is the left hand side left hand side of this equation there is another part now we have to show this one si is p i z i does plus xor c i here also we will consider the right hand side again we have to prove again we have to prove s i equal to p i z i does xor c i so now we have to prove this one now let us consider uh, consider the right hand side again so right hand side equal to p i z i dash xor c i now let us expand this one so p i is we from the figure we have seen that from the figure we have seen p i is a i plus b i okay so we'll write a i plus b i all into it this is z i dash complement so z i is a i b i we have already seen okay and we have a complement here so with xor with c i now we will get from this term what we can write so this is nothing but a i plus b i all into this is a b whole bar so we can write it as a bar plus b bar so a i complement plus b i complement okay xor c i this whole term is with xor with c i so we'll get a i into a i bar it will be zero next time will be a i b i bar a i b i bar plus again we have a i bar b i a i bar b i okay so again b i and b i does that is complement will be equal to zero okay so from this after multiplication we'll get this one and this is xor with ci this is nothing but a b bar plus a bar b this is an xor operation so a xor a i xor b i from here and xor ci xor ci okay so we have got this one now what we can see that this is p i is this p i is a xor b i this is the xor operation or we can write it as also a xor b i okay and we have again c i as the input to the next case so this p i is this one okay from this logic circle we can write it as a i xor b i xor c i so this is the expression for s i so we can write it as s i okay this is the left hand side so first part of the problem is complete now okay so this was the first part of the problem okay now in the second part what we have to do we are given with a logic circuit now in the second part we are given with a logic circuit okay so and we have to find out identify we have to identify the p i dash and g i dash terminals and so that the circuit completely implements a full header okay now from this circuit let us find out so at the output of this nand get what we'll get this a0 bar b0 bar a0 bar b0 bar okay so this is the complement so this a0 sorry a0 b0 whole bar this is not complement this is not complement okay a0 b0 whole bar because it is the nand get a0 b0 whole bar so a0 b0 whole bar we can write it as a0 b0 is z0 from the previous expression so whole complement so we have obtained the because it is i equal to zero here so we have obtained the terminal this is the terminal where z i dash we have found out here i is zero so we have got z zero dash okay so now what we can see that this is c then we have an inverter so we'll get c zero dash okay this c zero dash is input here c zero dash okay and we have this one z zero dash 
C zero dash Z zero dash. So this is not operation between A naught and B naught. So what we can write it here? A zero plus B zero whole complement. Okay, this is nothing but whole complement. This is A plus B whole bar. So we can write it as A zero bar B zero bar. So this is applied here and it is inverted. So after this bubble, what we'll get? This is this complement will cancel out. Okay, so this is the term. So this will have a complement a zero bar b zero bar whole complement because this is inverter here. Okay, at the input at this input we will have this this one this much. Okay, so a b whole bar we can write it as a bar plus b bar. So a zero bar bar that is two times complement it will be a zero plus b zero. Okay, so this is a zero plus b zero we can write it as p zero. Now watch it carefully. If this is a zero b zero a zero bar, if this is a zero bar b zero bar whole complement is p zero. If we do not have complement, that will be p zero bar. So this is we can write it as p zero bar. In the question, we are asked to find out the terminals. Okay, so at this terminal, okay, so we'll get p zero bar, and at this terminal, okay, at this terminal I'll put up this gate. We will get the z zero bar. So we have got this. Now, after this inverter again, we'll get C0. And at the XOR output, at this XOR get output, what we'll have, this is P0. Okay, P0, this one, and this one is Z0 bar. Okay, so at the output of this gate, we'll get P0, Z0 bar. P0, Z0 bar. We have got here, so P0, Z0 bar, XOR, C0. So we can write it as sum equal to P0, Z0 bar, XOR, C0. So this is the expression for sum. Okay. So let us compare with the previous case. From the previous case, we can see that SI is this much. So if I equal to 0, we will have S0 equal to, okay, similar to this one, S0 equal to P0 g0 bar p0 g0 bar xor ci that is i equal to 0 so c0 okay so we have proof that this this whole circuit is giving the this this whole circuit is giving the sum output here at this point okay now let us see for the carry carry one here we have c0 bar g0 bar okay this is added with p0 bar okay so at this output we can write it as p0 bar plus c0 bar z0 bar in the first part we have seen that ci plus 1 here ci i means 0 if i is 0 at this equation from the first part ci equal to if 0 that is c1 equal to that is c1 equal to this will be equal to this one okay c1 will be from this term if i equal to 0 we will have c1 equal to c0 bar c0 bar z0 bar plus p0 bar okay now if we see this term and this term is the same okay so from the output of from the circuit we have got the sum output as well as the carry output okay so this circuit we can say it to be as a full ladder circuit okay so this is the solution of the problem number 4.16 Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.